Hello and welcome back to my garage here in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. This is the last of the three cars that I bought in my pre in my la most recent trip to the junkyard. This is a 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner with the Hemi engine in it. I decided to go ahead and do this car because it has the Hemi rather than the 6P and we can see what kind of performance we can get out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work on it now. Okay, so the body has all been reassembled. Now we can go ahead. Whoop. Now, ah. now we can go ahead and move it to the left and get it cleaned up. Factory color is interesting. Kind of kind of like a orange. They probably call it something like burnt sienna or something. Wait a minute. It just said body condition 95. What am I missing? Left body window A. have gone must have been plugging away too fast to miss that one
Okay. Now we can go ahead and paint the car. It's kind of a yellowy orange. Like a sunset, maybe. I like it. I mean, I I already have one of these cars in my personal collection. But I, I like this color enough to leave it like it is. And it's got generic rims on it. That's terrible. We'll be replacing those. I'm going to go ahead and take off all four of the wheels at once because I think they're all the same size. So there's no need to do and I'm since I'm not going to be repairing these, I want to pick some other rim to replace them with. I have an extra set of these double wishbone rears, rears because I made them by accident on another car I was working on, so hopefully I will find something I can use these on. And these wheels are all the same size, 15 inch, 215, 70, 15. Is that right? 215.70? I hate it when I forget them. 215.70. Yeah. 215.70.15. Let's see if I can remember that this time. $2,200. No, $2,250 really for that. And let's see what rim. I kind of like... Nah, that's too ostentatious. I like something... I wish there was like a four... I wish there was something with like four um, spokes instead of five. Or a crap load. Look at the retro real quick. I use this Retro 2B. That's a nice looking rim. The Retro 3 is what's on the Bolt Reptilia. Don't really like this. This is not bad. That might be that might be workable. The the spoke rims I don't think would really suit this car. Um No, I think I'm going to go with the classic, the classic 2. Yeah, I think it's a good looking rim. When you look at it in the store view, it kind of looks almost like it's convex, like it sticks out, but it doesn't really. Thank you. 
think that's the last one that needs balancing. Oh, and I can flush these things too. I already bought replacements. Okay. I think I may just rip everything off and just straight up buy new stuff rather than wasting time repairing anything. It's a disturbing view straight in there. <laughs> Let if Or at least there's no hub bearings to deal with. Oh, and the shock absorbers. I'll go ahead and repair the transmission so I can sell it for a decent amount. Yeah, it makes it 900 bucks, so yeah. And I'll need to buy a drive shaft. was V8F. There it is. Get this rear end slapped back together. Did I buy two of those? I think I did. <laughs>
yeah, that looks way better than the generic, the Roadrunner wheel. The only downside of these particular rims on a car with uh, drum suspension is the drum. It, the, the drum is really kind of prominent back there. But once the car is down, it, it won't be as noticeable. Okay, now I have to build a pair of the front double wishbone suspension. Let's also buy our bushings and tie rods and the sway bar stuff. I'm actually not sh I saw that the sway bar links were B, but I'm not... Oops, I only bought one. I'm not actually sure which one the front sway bar was. It was sway bar B. Okay. I did buy two leaf spring drive axles for some unknown reason. That's weird. Let's see which hubs. Just regular front wheel hubs. Go ahead and buy the brakes. Okay, so these can go away. And all the old brake stuff can go away. So what's left? Suspension arm, steering rack, cross member. I saw something fail there. What was that? Wow, I didn't get the cross member back. Okay.
front steering knuckle C. Okay, now we can slap the front end back together. that oil filter V8. Whenever I work on a V8 car it's always kind of a crapshoot whether it's an oil filter V8 or an oil filter V8 OHV. This is really my favorite part of this game, is coming in and ripping out all that rusty old junk and putting in shiny, pretty new things. This is what keeps me doing this. Almost done. I can see too I'm going to need to buy the coil and the ignition distributor because this, this is the V8C engine and I've built lots of them. Okay, I think we have all the front end pieces in. Nothing extra laying around. Good. I've actually, I, I, I mean, I was never really familiar with this car before. I mean, I wasn't born, and well, I was, I was one year old in 1970. <laughs> so this car was before I really became aware of cars in general. But I've come to really kind of like the look of this car. I imagine in real life it's huge. You could probably land F-14s on the hood. So there's no heads. Looks like we don't have all the sil all the all the pistons either, which is fine because they're junk anyway. There's one piston in there, which means I need to buy rod caps and crankshaft caps. So let's buy a bunch of stuff now. So I know I'm going to need these arms. Pretty much everything that's painted yellow I'm going to need. 
Except that it uses the Plymouth heads, the Plymouth head covers, I think. The oil pan, timing cover, water pump. Get the oil. Pretty sure it has, uh, I think it uses this rocker arm too, but yeah, this is the Plymouth one, so yeah, it uses this rocker arm. Now we can buy our shiny stuff. Actually, think this engine use. I think this engine uses this one here. Let's cross our fingers and hope I buy the right one. What else? Oh yeah, I was just thinking that when you buy the ignition coil and distributor, you need to make sure to buy clips for it. So let's let's see if we can repair at least the block in the uh, crankshaft. We can't repair the block. Bummer. I think there was a crankshaft too. I guess I didn't get the crankshaft or I repaired it already. Uh, maybe that was the other car I worked on. Anyway, let's go ahead and buy ourselves an engine block. Yeah, it did need that camshaft. Which means I'm gonna need cam gear OHV. And I'm probably gonna need timing gear Timing chain F. It's either OHV or it's OHVF. I think it's F. Let's cross our fingers and hope that's the right one. Yay! I didn't buy any of the pulleys, but this will be the alternator and the power steering pump. Why do I have two fill filters? I always try to just keep the parts I need for a given build in my inventory, and somehow I have extras. This is another one that's clipped in, clipped into the uh, engine stand. So crank pulley OHV, water pump pulley, power steering pump F, alternator I6B. At least there's only two alternators in here. I know that this uses radiator fan B. And 
these two serpentine belts. I'm not sure. I'm sure there's probably going to need to be a roller or something in there. I haven't even bought heads yet. <laughs> I love how you can assemble the whole front of the engine this way without actually doing any of the, any of the guts of the of the engine yet. Okay, let's see which heads. Engine head B V eight H. There's engine head B V eight O H V H. Where's A? There it is. camera has gotten sucked in close. I'm not sure why this happens. It's really annoying. Intake manifold H. Exhaust manifold H. Let's go ahead and get those. And there is a performance version of this. This engine is nice. I think that you can actually get... Um, I think this particular variant gets more performance parts than, than the 6P engine did in the other version of the Roadrunner of the Roadrunner that I've already done. So I think we should get significantly more power out of this car. And I'm sucked in close so I can't even move. God. I think it's probably because the head covers aren't on. It's really annoying though, my god. Did I not buy the push rods? I didn't. Put the exhaust manifold on the other side. See, I can't, I can't back out any further than this. It's ridiculous. Whoa.
so glad this car doesn't have 16 individual rocker arms though. Carburetor A and B, H. Engine head cover B. Yeah, those are the Plymouth head covers. Those should be easy to find. Yeah, this one here has got the Plymouth logo. Carburetor A and B, V8H. I believe there's also an air filter for this. Yes, there is. And the air cover is the chrome one. It's this one right here. And this one again with the Plymouth logo, so they're pretty easy to find. So glad I don't have to install 16 individual rocker arms. Yep, and I did buy the correct wires. Okay, and that should complete it. I don't see anything missing. Make a quick turn around the engine. It looks like everything is where it's supposed to be. So now we can go ahead and put it in the car. Oh, that's a pretty engine. It sure looks good in there. Now all we need to do is stick our transmission, drive shaft, and starter on it, and we can uh, test it and see what we've got out of it. Yep, there she is. 100% across the board. So let's go to the dyno now and test it out. Has anybody ever noticed how this, this cheap plastic lawn chair looks like it's full of water or something in the seat? It's so weird. and You can't move it or anything. I just thought that was a strange touch. Factory engine power is 425. I think that six-piece factory power was something like 327 or 375 maybe. But we should get quite a lot of power out of this car now. almost exactly, well, call it 80% rounded off. 80% increase in power. So 
but now we just need to go out and drive it. that stupid chain link fence. It really looks nice. It's kind of out here in the sunlight. It's it's almost I mean it's like it's like molten gold. It's a really pretty paint color. I should have made a note of it in the uh, paint shop <laughs> so I could reproduce it. Maybe I'll do that before I sell the car. Oh well, we'll see if we can keep it in a straight line here. So far, so good. It's not drifting. Well, it's drifting to the right a little bit. It's tracking pretty straight, though. Oh, looks like 150 is the maximum speed we're going to get out of it. If I fiddled with the gearing, I could probably get it faster, but... I actually, I'm not sure how fast the other car went. I have a feeling we probably didn't really gain much. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move it back over to the paint shop so that I can make a note of that, uh, this color. I might want to try it again on something else. And it's time for the car to go now. I've kind of made a point to not look at the value of it. I don't think it's, I don't think it's super valuable. 91, 97, 97,000 something, 97,000 or so? Yeah, go ahead and shoot it out the door. Yep, 97,000. Okay, well, if you made it this far, Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, next time, since I'm out of cars to work on, I'll, we'll go back to the junkyard and see what we can find. So, until then, hope you uh, enjoyed the video and hope to see you again next time. Bye for now.